close your eyes, sit or lay comfortably. Breathe in deep through your nose and out through your mouth with a great sound. Again, in through your nose, out. One more time in. Out. Imagine your caduceus energy lines illuminated and feeding your energy centers with light. The darkness behind your eyes fades away, and there you find yourself in your alchemy laboratory. You suddenly hear three loud knocks coming from the outer door. Make your way through your laboratory and answer the door. There, Jupiter appears. Ask him to come inside. Invite him to sit down with you. His lightheartedness and love fills your space and he smiles deeply at you. Before he sits down, he goes over to your workspace and retrieves the beaker of licorice from your work with Mary the Prophetess. When you are both comfortably seated in your space, Jupiter turns to you and says, My child, what is the main painful memory or theme in your life? Please don't feel hindered now, my child. You are safe here, and it is good to cry. When you do so, collect your tears in this container, as they are powerful and will be useful in later stages. He holds up the beaker he retrieved and then places it on the floor near you. Be sure to also have your small vial ready so that you can collect your tears in your physical reality as well. Now tell Jupiter about everything that you wrote down. Take your time and be thorough. Be sure to let all of the emotions that are associated with that memory or theme well up within you. Feel everything for the last time. Cry as much as you can and collect those tears. sure to share with Jupiter how this memory affected your use of judgment or blame in your adult life.
tell him also how this memory or theme contributed to your persona. finally done recounting your memory, Jupiter asks, are you ready to let that all go? As you answer, he stands up and moves towards you. He takes the beaker of liquid from you and pours out a single drop into his hand, leaving the remaining liquid within it. When the drop hits his palm, a piece of tin metal is formed. Jupiter hands you the piece of tin and says, Here is that bad memory. I have transformed it into the metal for which I am the ruling archetype. Tin is a metal that is associated with water, blood, and tears. It has been used since ancient times to make jewelry, mirrors, utensils, and more. Today, I have used it to encapsulate your memory. And now it is up to you to do with it what you wish. Do you want to bury it? Mold it into something in honor of that part of you being gone? Smelt it down in your furnace? Spend some time thinking about what you would like to do with that piece of metal that holds your memory. Discuss it with Jupiter if you wish, and ask him any questions you may have. When you are done, do whatever you decided to do with the piece of tin. After completion, thank Jupiter for his presence here with you tonight. Escort him to the exit and show him out. When he has left, put the beaker back on your workspace and take several cleansing breaths in that space.
as you take your last cleansing breath, the darkness regathers behind your eyes. You feel yourself in the physical space of your reality. Slowly open your eyes.